We had different treatment options for children with hyperinsulinism. About half of the children are treated medically with a combination of drugs that suppress insulin secretion and other medical management. For the children that respond to medical therapy, we have currently two medications that are used. The first line of therapy is disoxide, with a medication that is used in an oral preparation and is very effective in suppressing insulin secretion in milder forms of hyperinsulinism. Some require treatment with a second medication that is called octreotide. Octreotide is an injectable drug that, again, suppresses insulin secretion. There are several tools that we have to medically manage patients. Some are oral medication, injectable medication, and um, the third is sugar water through a feeding tube. They can't just drink formula or juice or something once every two hours to keep their blood sugars up. They need a continuous rate of sugar to prevent them from having severe hypoglycemia. We work together with the families to make the decisions that would allow us to establish the best medical management for their children. The patients that are relatively easily medically managed and don't need surgery, we'll see those children probably twice a year. They'll come back for outpatient follow-up in six months, and then every year we'll admit them to evaluate them to make sure that their blood sugars are as stable as we think they are on their current management. And typically those kids, um, we anticipate, will um, improve over time, but sometimes they may need this lifelong therapy for medication. He's six years old with um, hyperinsulinism, and he's been on the same treatment for years. Our endocrinologist didn't know where to go next and how to treat Dio, and she referred us here to the endocrinology team here. They took down a couple of shots and eliminated a couple of shots. I just want him to be just a normal little boy. That's my greatest joy right there, you know, just that I can see him actually out there playing with everybody and enjoying himself, enjoying life. In half of our patients, the hyperinsulinism can be treated medically, and those children will require medical therapy for most of their lives, uh, but that controls the hypoglycemia. In the other half of the patients, the hyperinsulinism cannot be treated medically, and surgery is the only um, option for ameliorating the, the hypoglycemia.